Gentleman from Mississippi, Representative Zell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Dooms, I'd like to uh, start with you. Uh, thank you for being here today and our witnesses. We appreciate it. But uh, how often do political appointees at GSA disagree with the recommended decision of GSA career experts? Uh, Congressman, that's a great question. It's hard to give you a comprehensive answer, but we can cite to at least one other instance uh, where the political uh, head of the GSA Public Building Service overturned a site selection panel decision. It was in 2006 with the siting of the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania courthouse. Uh, the site selection panel made a recommendation of three sites, and the site selection authority actually chose a fourth site that was not under consideration by the site selection panel. Thank you. Uh, do we have a detailed record that document uh, instances when a political appointee has been designated the role of the site selection authority? <clears throat> I don't believe we have a detailed uh, document, but GSA has uh, endeavored to look through past decisions and, and look for instances. Uh, here in an uh, earlier case with the FBI in 2016, the site selection panel recommended that the Springfield site be excluded from any consideration. And the site selection authority decided not to accept that recommendation and that GSA should consider the Springfield site. I understand that the weights were changed for all criteria and, and the expert panel still chose Springfield, yet a political appointee chose Greenbelt. To me, it seems like there was a uh, directive from the White House to ensure Greenbelt emerged as the preferred choice. Uh, in between the panel's recommendation and the final report, was there any director from the White House? No, sir. Would you be willing to share any documents or correspondence that may have come from the White House, GSA, and the executive branch if there's any documents? Congressman, I'm committed to working with you uh, uh, to produce any uh, correspondence if it exists. I'm not sure that it does, but I'll work with the Office of General Counsel to get you that information. Thank you. Mr. Demos, uh, given the FBI's preference to stay in downtown D.C., do you believe the FBI would ever truly accept a decision to move the headquarters out of downtown D.C.? Congressman, thank you for the question. What we said throughout the process from when Congress passed the law in March of 2022 uh, till today is as long as a fair and transparent process is followed, we will follow the law. And the law said that the FBI shall uh, go to one of those three suburban sites. And, and that has not changed, sir. How do you respond to the allegations that Director Carnahan said the FBI's concerns with the process had no merit? And uh, do you feel this process was fair and transparent? Thank you, sir. Uh, so this is an, an area of disagreement between the FBI and the GSA. We have identified process concerns, uh, as, as you even alluded to, and the fact that it is exceedingly rare that a uh, site selection panel's recommendation is not accepted by the site selection authority. Uh, even within our own FBI procurement shop, uh, we canvassed our lead contracting officers, and it was exceedingly rare that such a situation had occurred Combining that with the number of instances where there was a disagreement between the panel and the site selection authority, uh, your concern to see that just so consistently the disagreement by the SSA led to an increase to the Greenbelt site and a decrease to the Springfield site. And again, just exacerbated by uh, the fact that the SSA was ultimately uh, senior executive by the owner of the Greenbelt site. Those things taken in aggregate just created areas of process concern for us, sir. Thank you very much. And thank you for both for being here today. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Chair, thanks the gentleman. Chair now recognizes the gentlelady from Kansas, Representative Davids. Thank you, Chairman, and uh, thank you to the chairman and the ranking member. Uh, Ms. Titus for holding this hearing today. Uh, and then, of course, thank you to our witnesses for taking the time to testify. I represent the